Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host Teddy, and today I'm doing a video that's kind of hard to do, which is why I don't think many tech YouTubers do it, and that's sort of telling you guys which GPU at, or GPUs, I should say, matches with which monitors in terms of uh, resolution and uh, refresh rates. So this one's difficult because everyone sort of games differently and by that I mean what settings they deem appropriate for them. A lot of people out there are happy to game at like medium settings or something like that, uh, especially on higher uh, resolution displays. And also we get into the whole argument of do you need filters on high resolution displays and that whole thing which could take up this entire video so we're just going to skip over that. Basically for this we're assuming that you're playing modern AAA titles, so high requirement games, and you're wanting to play them on the highest preset. So with that in mind, uh, let's go over the GPUs then. And I'm sort of just going to bunch them together because it makes it much easier than going through individual GPUs and also make the video much shorter for you guys. So we'll start with what I deem the entry level GPUs. And this video I'm basically talking from experience uh, and my knowledge from testing every GPU out right now in terms of all the different ones and uh, testing obviously every different display in terms of resolution and refresh rate. So your entry level GPUs, which for me is sort of your GTX 1050, 1050 Ti, I would say RX maybe 560 territory, um, maybe RX 550, not, I, I guess sort of around that area, you guys know those kind of entry level ones, everything up to a 570 or a GTX 1063 gigabyte, those are like the entry level different varying levels of entry level GPUs. So for these guys, you're basically just going to want to stick to your 1080p 60 hertz monitor. A uh, good size for these is like 23 to 24 inch and there's plenty of them out there right now. You could get a very, very good deal on these. Uh, there's tons out there, very cheap now for decent ones too. And this is basically what you'd we'd like to stick with those GPUs. And that's a pretty obvious thing. Um, you still have a good gaming experience. I mean, it's still 1080p, and that should be able to keep it over 60 uh, FPS for the most part, hopefully. Uh, it's just going to depend on the game, depend on the settings, and obviously depend on the GPU, as things like a 1050 Ti are actually quite little, you know, it's quite powerful little GPU there for the price. Then going up, we get to what I call the value for money tier, or a lot of people say the sort of um, mid tier best value mid-tier GPUs. This is your 1060s and your RX 570s, 580s. So with these ones, they're very good value in terms of their performance per dollar, but also it gives you quite a bit of um, variety in what you can run. So obviously these are spectacular for 1080p 60 hertz. Uh, they'll do very, very well at that. You know, you should be able to play all your games at over 60 FPS with no worries, uh, unless you're running some sort of crazy settings or the game is just ridiculous to run. But you can also start dipping into the 1080p higher refresh rate monitors. So you got your, you know, 100 hertz, 120, 144, maybe even go up to 165. Uh, so those monitors, you can start getting into them with your 1060 or your RX 580. Uh, for high requirement games, you probably won't be able to get right up to like 120 FPS or something, but you should be able to get it up so it's a bit smoother. And if you're playing lower to medium requirement games, then you'll definitely be able to get the frame rates nice and high with them, and that'll make the gaming experience very, very smooth. So for those ones, uh, that's a good option. There's also 1080p, uh, 1440p, I should say, 60 hertz panels. This, I feel like, is pushing them a little bit far. A little bit. Your 1060, uh, obviously your 6 gigabyte one, RX 580, they can do it. But in some games, you're going to have to knock down those settings a little bit. But they can do it, and it would still be a viable monitor to use with those GPUs. Uh, but basically, I'll put it this way. With a 1080p high refresh rate monitor, if your FPS can only get up to, say, 90, and it's you know, 120 hertz or something, then you're still going to have a better gaming experience 
than on a 60 hertz 1080p panel it's still going to look smoother you're not getting the most out of it but because obviously you'd want to get it up over 120 but you will get a good experience out of it a, a better experience out of it with a 1440p 60 hertz panel if you're only getting like 40 50 fps then that gaming experience is going to be probably worse than if you were just on a 1080p 60 hertz panel to me anyways i hate the choppiness i really just dislike it some people are happy at just gaming over 30 fps me personally i'm not a big fan of it i don't think many of you guys are either so i feel like with those ones you're probably better off just going with the 1080p high refresh rate panel uh rather than trying to get in on 1440p unless you're doing some productivity stuff or there's another reason why you need to be going to it then we jump up to uh the mid to higher tier and this is your 1070 1070 ti vega 56 and uh, i probably wouldn't put the vega 64 in there i would still consider that high tier but it's not particularly good value so we will leave the 64 out of it for now so basically those three 1070 1070 ti uh vega 56 all good power you know in terms of gpus for these guys, you these are much more appropriate for your 1440p 60 hertz. Uh, you can start dabbling also in 1440p higher refresh rate. Once again, this will start. This will be pushing them a little bit. Uh, 1080p higher refresh rate. No worries with these guys. They'll just plow through it, and they're a very good sort of GPU power to get. Not as quite as good as those sort of value for money ones, the mid tier ones in terms of price to performance but they're still decent and much better than the very very high-end ones which are just you know obviously give you very good performance but they're just so expensive so yeah these guys uh 1440p 60 hertz 1440p higher fresh rate depending on the game and depending on what you're doing uh 1080p higher fresh rate all day long and these are the guys you'd also want to be dabbling into for your ultra wide so your proper big ultra wides like a 3440 by 1440 uh, ultra wide 1070 1070 ti or vega 56 are sort of good ones for them uh it would get you in the door with those maybe if you had like a 2560 by 1080 that would be very good for them uh so that that will sort of get you in the door there so basically at that tier it opens up a lot of opportunities and also gets you in the door on 4k 60 hertz although it's probably not exactly where you'd like it to be and that leads us to the high end gpus that's your 1080 1080 ti and your vega 64 i'm not counting titans and stuff like that because most people won't be buying them so for these guys that's when the door really opens 1440p high refresh rate is just spectacular with these high end gpus i know i've done it i love it's my favorite combination a 1080 ti with a 1440p high refresh rate uh, display it's just a absolutely awesome gaming experience it also gets you in on the 4k 60 hertz stuff very nicely that's what i personally run my 1080 ti does just fine with it and also uh your 3440 by 1440 ultra wides especially since some of them are like 100 hertz refresh rate uh these will also be very very good for that too now these are expensive and it's not exceptionally good value for money but it does give you the best gaming experience so if you're wanting to go up to any of those sort of things take it from me i run this stuff that's what i would say uh would be the best ones to go for 4k even 4k 60 hertz still can be difficult to run with a 1080 ti depending on the game so if you're trying to do it with something like a 1070 it'll get you in the door but i'm not saying it's going to be a good experience because you're going to have to pull down the settings heavily on a lot of those games and it can be quite difficult to run them so this should give you a good overview of which gpus as a block go with pair nicely with which gaming monitors um but it's obviously very dependent on person to person but i've tried outline this the best way i know how so you guys know going forward you can think hey i'm going to upgrade my gpu to a gtx 1060 say very good gpu or an rx 580 uh should i upgrade my monitor at the same time i see that comment a lot 
and now you sort of know well you could go to like a 10 ap high refresh rate panel and that would be very solid with that or it might get you in the door on a 1440p 60 hertz panel as well but let me know in the comment section down below i'm going to be very active in the comments and reading all of them which gpu are you currently running in your gaming rig and which monitor do you use with it I would imagine most of you guys are running the sort of entry to mid-tier ones because they have the best value for money um, and most likely running 1080p 60 hertz panels but I'd still really like to know. Just let me know in the comment section down below and do you think it's like an uh, adequate pairing? Do you think they go well with each other or do you think maybe your GPU is too underpowered for that resolution or refresh rate or you think it's too overpowered? I'd really like to know. I just wanted this video to be more of a discussion and talking about which monitors pair well with which GPUs just so it's a nice easy video for people who maybe don't know which ones go with which they can help figure it out and give them the right idea about it because you know I'm lucky enough to have tested out all this stuff but most of you guys don't have that opportunity uh, so it can be difficult to tell which monitor goes with which GPU. Now I thank you all for watching this video Please enter my full PC giveaway. It's in my previous video, so go back and watch that if you haven't already, because, I mean, would you want a free gaming PC? Who wouldn't want that? Go check it out. And I'll see you guys next time.